It's Friday, February 24th, 2023. This is the Daily Smash. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. Happy Friday. Ha happy Friday. Happy Friday. Yay. <laughs> this episode of the Daily Smash is brought to you by Tequila Commissario. I have to put my glasses on to read you all the oh, good Oh, don't good get stuff mad out this. there. Don't get don't mad. Don't get mad, Ginger. Don't get mad. I'm putting on my glasses. Wait, you this, is, pour the, some this of that? is the one that's um, the one that we tasted in the office, right? Um, well, they have they have one that's a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars for a bottle. That's the one we were drinking in the office. Right. But this is the Anejo. Tequila Comisario is one hundred percent blue agave from the Jalisco Highlands of Mexico. It's artisanal, small batch, handcrafted, double distilled, cold filtered with a smooth taste and a creamy finish. It does. It's so good. We went to their office uh, this week and uh, tried. <coughs> Clinky, clinky, quite drinky, a drinky. So we went to PGA West Wait, Superstore. I'm sorry, let me just finish. Oh, sorry. Tequila Commissario Ultra Premium won triple double gold medals, a grand slam for the first time in competition history. Tequila Commissario won double, double gold ratings for each expression. So these are all expressions. Oh, yeah. You have some expressions. I do. You have a lot of expressions. You can find Commissario Blanco, Reposado, and Anejo in fine restaurants, clubs, and liquor stores nationwide yes. or at tequilacommissario.com. I love Nero. this stuff. It really, honestly, mm. it is terrific, terrific tequila. It's the the most award-winning tequila, apparently. You know what's so good with this? What? Oranges and cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Like, yummy. We had orange with it the other day, and it was it was... Terrific. This, I mean, this is really fantastic. It's smooth. Guys. It is. It's smooth. It tastes different than other tequilas, like other tequilas, uh, like you know, like the 1942s or whatever. This has more. It's more complex. Like yeah. you can smell more of the notes. And Frankie said it's beaten 1942 head to head like multiple times <sighs> in competition. But so. this, I mean, they had these yesterday when we were at the house. Yeah. Oh yeah. At the house here in Newport Beach, it's a, a club, a mm -hmm. restaurant. Like private club. Sarah Guggenheim. You met her last Yes. Time. She owns it. Oh, she. Oh, that's right. She owns it. Yeah. Her and husband. her husband. Yeah. yeah. Steve, I think his name is. Steve or Keith? Keith. 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 But anyway. Um, I'm like, I can't hear, dude. I have like profound hearing loss. I know. He sounded, Rick seemed a little like kind of rude, but I'm like, it's not rude. He just can't hear. Yeah. And then I explained to him and then, and then we went over to the table later and we were talking to them and their, and their friends and he goes, oh, you can hear. I was like, yeah, I, I can hear some things. Right. But Kelly's in the next room. I can't hear her. I know. I don't yeah. know how you can. My voice is so loud. Well, it, it's helpful. It yeah. is. Uh, Wait, a... but I want to go back to this. Oh, okay. So we went to PGA store. We are competitively priced oh, on yeah. this. And these balls are awesome. They're you so guys, cool. Please try them out for yourself if you guys play pickleball. It's amazing. It's pickleballpartytown.store. The balls are ten bucks, nine ninety nine, and the rackets are fifty nine ninety nine. Some nice lady competitively went priced. I mean, we're actually lower than a lot of than than rackets that are as good or not as good. But we've we've tested every single ball like we have. Yeah, we've, we've tested them. Played with a lot of. We've played a lot, and we know which ones are flat, which ones. This one is good. It's a forty hole ball, and <clears throat> the you know what the pink it shows up like it's it's good. It it's is a good, good color for for the court. Um, I was gonna say. Uh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot. Well, I, you know, we were watching TV, local news. They're all over this big storm that's hitting California. Big Bear's getting a lot of snow. People it, are freaking out. It's funny, like local news. Like I did it for so long, <laughs> and when there's a storm, everyone puts on their storm jackets and breaks out all their cliches. Their duck shoes. It's the biggest storm in a hundred years. It's so funny. This uh, storm's really packing a punch. Yeah, Rick goes. They're really using the cliches. <laughs> it's With turning a street... historic storm. It... And yeah, Jolie did that. When yeah, Jolie did that when she was in third grade. She says, "With the historic storm," because <laughs> she used to have a list. And the anchorman said it. <laughs> you guys, see, there's. He said that Jolie said that like ten years ago. She did. I was like, "Oh my god, Jolie said that." I'm turning like... streets into rivers, packing a punch. They're battening down the hatches, getting ready for the worst, preparing for the worst, and hoping for the best. So I had um, I had this guy uh, Atwood 
Ryan Atwood and his boy, his husband uh, Josh, come over. And he, oh, that was his husband. Didn't know. Yeah, they're they're married, and he is he does these events. Charcuterie board on how to. It gets a. It was a, the best event like I ever had with girls. Like it was, it was so much fun. That's where you met him at a party, right? Right, but, yeah. at my girlfriend's birthday party, my friend yeah. Megan, and I'm like, I really want. Like it's because they're hard to make. Like well, he, I do one, but it's not. It's kind of sloppy. Like I didn't, you know, I didn't know how to fan out the the strawberries or, you know, twist off the kiwi to make it like really that was pretty. Cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that it was, was like really little cool. little things, you know, how how to separate, how to fan out the cheeses. You know what? I'll show a little them. clip of that of of the of the kiwi when you when you t- and we're gonna do a full version of this how to make a charcuterie board on our Rick and Kelly show on Patreon.com next week. So if you sign up, you can watch that ep- that segment next week. But I want to show this little kiwi clip. So we, it's diagonal lines all the way around the whole the whole diameter of the kiwi. Charlie right? Brown, dude. Oh, I get the I get it now. Yeah, like this, the line on his yeah, shirt. shirt. Almost there. And now, once you're done, you spin off, and it has these sections. It's almost like a little flower. Oh. That is so is that? Cool. This guy had a lot of tricks up his sleeve. He certainly did. Yes, it's and it's a fun. If you guys ever, or he comes to your house and he makes them, like he puts the craft paper out and then he does the whole spread. It's really and it wasn't crazy expensive. It was ninety bucks a person. I mean, cheese is expensive when you go. And he also brings there's meat and there's fruit and there's nuts and all that stuff. Yeah, and there's a, yeah, it's it's delicious. And there's you, bread and he makes these crackers. Oh and yeah. And I want to learn how to make them. And they're like oh. a saltine cracker. Um, they're over there. I, I must have ate almost half the bag. <laughs> and he, I guess it's like butter, chili flakes, onion, uh, garlic powder, salt, pepper. And then he, like, sp- I guess sprays it on and then puts Parmesan cheese and bakes it. Oh, he bakes it. That's how it stays on there. Yes. That's pretty clever. It is delicious. I'm like, you have to sell these at Zinc. Like, I would totally buy those. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you were wolfing them down. I was... <laughs> the, my favorite part was when he goes, you know, I'm lactose intolerant. I was like, wait a minute. You make cheese boards for a living and you're lactose intolerant? <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's not eating the profits. Right. As they say. No, that was cool. Yeah. Um, and and so that'll be on our show next week, And too. thank you so much for our Pickleball Party Town on our, on our Instagram. I got a lot of DMs saying that we should have a link on how to buy these. We need to do that. I told, I told our boy yesterday to link... Both sites, so they're they're working on it. it. It should be done soon, if not already. Link the sites. So if you're on pickleballpartytown. dot store, then there'll be a link to our picklepartyhouse. dot com, where you can go and look at the house, or vice versa. Okay. But you want one from your Instagram? Yes. That that we have to work on. But okay. it shouldn't be that hard. All right. I have some viewer comments. Okay. Uh, Lisa Doran said, "Happy Thursday, holy." Can I say that S H I T? I I don't I don't think. Remember so. the cream tea the cream tea box we did yesterday? Yes. She said it's ninety eight bucks. She looked it up it's ninety eight bucks. Wow, it looks so. Is that a, that's a lot, right? I, yeah, I mean, I don't. I mean, it must be shipping. I I it, I must be expensive for shipping because well, it comes in that that box. It, right? It's it actually comes, like a. a like a freezer like bag. A, like a freezer bag. You can reuse it. And it was dry ice in there, right? Uh, there was. Uh, it was like a. I don't know what it was. It must have been dry ice. And then, uh, so you can reuse that. But right? this is For funny. A picnic you... or whatever. But two things of scones, which were fabulous, by the way. And you can buy the clotted cream at Royal Market and that the fruit jam, the, the madams, whatever. Jelly, whatever. It, yeah, the, it, you can buy that at the grocery store. But it's a, but it's, it's not ninety eight dollars worth. But get, it must be the shipping. Well, on the packaging and the presentation. Oh, yeah. It gave you little spoons, little wooden spoons. I mean, it it was, I'm not going to lie, the scones were fantastic. Delicious. I had them for breakfast. Yeah. And I had a half of one, which I wasn't supposed to have. Uh-oh. But, yeah. but I didn't count as sweet because it wasn't like a dessert. It wasn't chocolate or candy. No, it wasn't like, it was like a biscuit. It was yeah, like it was more, a biscuit. It was more savory. <laughs> Well, this, oh, I'm kidding. I don't this, know. She said I, it, that that looks so good. It, I was thinking it would make a real nice Mother's Day gift. I'm gonna drop a big hint. 
Aww. with her family. Uh, Renee B said, "You do you, Rick. The two of you are perfect." And the Rayan said, "You guys are great to watch. You both are mad for each other. I see the love and respect for each other. Love yeah, your show. We, do. we love each yeah. other. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. We're Tom? always together. Like it's so funny. We never fight." I hated everybody before I met him. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think we both compliment each other really well. Yeah. Well, he's just so easy. He's just so easy. You're just so easy. Thanks, baby. Yeah. Tamara Spiggs. Oh, my God. I was laughing so hard today. A toss-up between Ginger's comment and the meth couple. Ginger is so wrong. Rick, you are funny and fine with or without your glasses. I can yeah. watch you all day long. Woo, Tamara. Um. And Michelle Peters said, you guys are the best. Love in the news. More, please. We have a double dose of in the news coming up. And on that fake Walmart meth head story that yeah. we got duped on, a lot of you caught it. Congratulations. Thank yes. you. For Thank you. Giving us the heads up. Shadow Rider, that, this is so hilarious. I looked at those two people with the buggy eyes and thought, WTF only at Walmart. Joanne said, I still love watching Kelly and Rick Daly, mistakes and all. You want to read your... Range master, or uh, right. yeah, the tip off. No way to splice into the cable and order NFL package. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> so it's not possible. I didn't know. I, maybe it's not possible to That's do that. That's hilarious. But someone else said, uh, Rick, "Oh, Gene Cooper." Yeah, read that one. Rick, uh, you your gut, gut tried to tell you. You said, "I didn't know Walmart's have addicts." That was a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then just Carol X said, "Maybe Kelly can do a segment called Fake News and read." Out far-fetched stories. Yes. Well, I can find those easily. Robin Williams wrote us. It was still funny, especially the pictures. We do have two amazing reels to share with you today. Did he come from the dead, Robin Williams? Apparently. Uh, we have one really serious reel and then one really funny reel. Okay. And you found this funny one. I found this serious one posted by Major Williams. Remember him? Yes. So this is a demonstration of cars... Uh, crashing at different speeds. 30. I want to know what kind of car that is. Looks like a BMW. Or an Audi. 80 is pretty gnarly. I'm going to ask Ted. Oof. Ooh. I think it's that okay. hurt. 120. How many cars? They wrecked a lot of cars. I want to know how they got them like, that fast to go. Jeez. Is there a test? Uh, and this last one was 260. Dead. That is super fast. All right, so that's that. Um, uh, wait. See, wait. you guys, speed kills. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. I, I don't know. speed. I, I drive like a grandma. Okay, here's the funny one. This is from comedian Renan Hirschberg on Instagram. I'm a liberal, but, but I will say this. Uh, Republicans are better when the shit finally goes down. That's true. Like, if there's a fucking zombie apocalypse, I'm switching sides immediately. <laughs> immediately. And so would you. If you're a liberal, which side do you want to be on when the f zombies come? You want to be with a group that includes everyone? <laughs> I don't think so. That group will die quickly. <laughs> No, you want to be in the group that loves guns and hates outsiders. That's the group. That's the group. And liberals want to make it. The zombies would come and liberals would be like, let's just let them in. Let's just... They're a marginalized group. Let's just let them in. Let's just let the zombies... I'm sorry, I mean the alive impaired. Let's just let them in. Let's just let them in. <laughs> I mean, the alive impaired. That's my favorite part. <laughs> Me too. That's, good. That's so good. Alive impaired. That's what they would say. That's what they would say. For shirzies. For shizzles. In the news now. In the news. The real news. We're, Not <laughs> the fake news. These are, these are real news stories. Uh -huh. The crazy thing is, a lot of times, Kelly and I will talk about something, and then it'll pop up somewhere. I swear it's like synchronicity. It's the weirdest weirdest thing so we were talking about tropic thunder and kelly mentioned something about robert downey jr being in blackface and how you couldn't do that today yeah, right because everybody's so sensitive they're so sensitive you can't say anything because it hurts your feelings well and, and you know this was a comedy but it was also they were the point of it was that blackface 
was bad. That's what the point of the film was, but it was also a comedy. Yeah. And he was brilliant, and he was actually nominated for an Academy Award, I think. It was so good. Uh, so Ben Stiller is not sorry about Tropic Thunder. The 2008 film has drawn criticism for its portrayal of disability, as well as for the fact that Robert Downey Jr. wore blackface in it. Stiller responded to a tweet that asked him to please stop apologizing for doing this mo- this movie. It was it was and still is funny AF, even funnier now with cancel culture the way it is. It's a movie, y'all. Can just get over it. I was dying laughing when I first saw it back in the day, and so was everyone else. Uh, ben Stiller responded that he's proud of it. I make no apologies for Tropic Thunder. Don't know who told you that. It's always been a controversial movie since we opened. Proud of it and the work everyone did on it, Stiller said. So he's I mean, not it's so sad. People of comedy can't be funny. The whole part of being a comedian is trying to make fun of yourself and making fun of... And you people are so sensitive. Like this lady goes, Kelly, you have more of a British humor than, yeah. you know, she's... And it's true. Like, I don't, I don't understand what is going on today. Well, if we were to get in a world war... You want these little pussies to be, you know, coming after, like, you know, defending, like, honestly, like, they're so sensitive. Like, what is going to happen if we do get in a war? You want these? Like, well, it's. We do have a very powerful military. I've spent a lot of time. Well, with those these guys. people are voting all this crap out. I'm not worried about our. Our men and well, women. Well, you, you, you know what? If uh, China and Russia were in cahoots together. We'll we're kick their big, ass. We're, no. we're going to kick their ass. I, I'm sorry. We're, I disagree. We're, we're in big trouble. I'm not trouble. worried about our military. But I am worried about some of the things that are happening on the fringes of it. Oh, yeah. You weren't worried about uh, uh, New York. You're like, oh, we have the best. And then all of a sudden. Yes, know, everyone... that's true. That's true. Yeah. I was defending the NYPD during the, all those riots. Like, this will not happen in New York. And then what do you know? It happened in New York. I was like, what are they doing? It pissed me off so bad. Well, it's better than being pissed on. It's true. Uh, the other thing about Tropic Thunder that was controversial is they, they, they had a rich, uh, mentally handicapped character. Yeah, special ben needs. Ben Stiller, one of his fake movies, was Simple Jack. And remember when Sean White dressed up as Simple Jack on yeah, Halloween? Yeah, and he got <laughs> as the worst uh, ever uh, Halloween costume. So that, that was part of the controversy about uh, this movie, this film. But anyway... That movie, Tropic Thunder, if you haven't ever watched it, it is probably one of the funniest movies of all time. Highly recommended. Jack Black. It's really funny. It's like a complete like heroin, coke addict, and he, the, a bat comes, and he's like this. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes in, and he's like, like, he tries to eat the bat. It's so funny. Speaking of cocaine, our second story is about the film Cocaine Bear. We have a review. Oh, yeah. And it's good. Is it? Yeah, well, according to Johnny Oleksinski <laughs> Who's from that? the New York Post. Oh. Cocaine Bear Review, Coke Addict Animal Kills, hilariously. It's exactly what you think it is, a bear inhaling kilo after kilo of coke, he writes. Impressively, however, director Elizabeth Banks keeps the powder gags fresh throughout as the mammal maims her way through a southern forest preserve. The movie about blow never blows. <laughs> It's full of very clever comments like that. But we watched a couple of previews. We're like, you didn't this believe is me. so stupid. I'm like, <laughs> no, because it said based on a, on true events. Yeah. I'm like, oh, really? Well, that's part of the, 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 uh, the funniness of it because it's so loosely based on the actual event. Well, I guess a bear really did eat some Coke. and went Yeah, nuts. but it was like nothing that happened after that is, the, is in this film. Oh, this was Ray Liotta's last film. I thought I recognized him. Really? That's Ray Liotta right there. Aww. I love Aww. that guy. I love that guy. This is his last film. Aww. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the story was about the bear. I don't think Michelle it's in Powell here. Michelle Powell just wrote us. I just I just heard the YouTube of the egg on her face. Oh yeah, Michelle Powell, if you're listening. If you missed it, I know that. I just can, read your your text real quick. Or we your did email. talk about it earlier. Uh, we do now know that the Walmart mess story was a fake. We we it was my fault. She she found the story and handed it to me, and I believed it because I love my wife, and she gives me something, tells me something. I'm going to believe it. I didn't. I was so busy. I didn't have time to. Check sources. Wait, how did Ray Liotta die? 
Mm, I'm not sure. Poor guy. Oh, Kendall just wrote us. a lot of... What um, is that about? The COO of what? I don't know. We'll look at it yeah, in a minute. We'll, That's we'll not I'm getting, I'm getting so many. I'm getting so many text messages from you guys. We've had not a text crazy messages, but we're getting day. we're getting inboxes or DMs from you. We're trying to pack our house for the move next week. We're trying to do all of our shows still. Trying to buy a couch. We're working on our products. Oh, we're trying to buy a couch. That's right. My girl, I I can get one made for like half the price of a cloud of a. Of a but it's yeah. going to take forever. Yeah. And I'm only going to live. How long did you say? Six I, weeks? Yeah. And I'm only going to live there for a year. So it's like, I don't really want to buy anything. Like, because we're moving to the desert full time. Yeah. I mean, if the couch will work in the desert, if we build an ADU. Well, I'm going to get, I want to get a custom one. You do. You don't want to. So then let's get the cheapest one and yeah. just beat the crap out of it. That's exactly and right. And sell it when we're done with it. Let's get that one we saw today. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. okay. We hope you have a smash-tastic weekend, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for, for being with us. Thank you so much.